Well, we got away at one o'clock, dropped off at Rick's and got to gun the guy for a um, bit of a snack. Not gun the guy, uh, pass the ass at Macca's. And then we bypassed gun the guy to Holbrook. We stopped at Holbrook for a icy pole and now we're at Chilton. It's nine o'clock at the Chilton Caravan Park, listening to Macca. And there's five items in the Offbeat Australia book to check out. We'll pop in to have a look at a couple of them, like the Bowser and the biggest vine tree in the world in the Guinness Book of Records. Well, we spent some money and got a Fulton, Margaret Fulton book and I've seen the the biggest vine, great vine tree in uh, Australia. That's grown from the clippings oh, from the tree. Yeah, the vines around in the... It's a lovely little... It's a lovely little alcove, isn't it? Yeah. That's sitting down there. That's in the Offbeat Australia book from the David Astor book. There's about five features in Chilton to visit. We'll just go down and see the other one now. Bank, Chilton Bank, and this service station, the only one in town, is reputed to have a, a collection of Bowsers named after Mr. Bowser, who invented the Bowser, and he's got a collection of stuff here somewhere. And I can't see any Bowsers, it must be indoors. through the middle of the city, Burke Street, Little Burke Street, and down past Graham Street, Bay Street, down to the Beach Street, and here we are at the pier, on, from an old fashioned map. And all the bush trackers and four wheel drives and SLRs are all loading up now, we're just making a fruit salad. And there's a, they've been dashing on for a quarter of an hour. So we're arranging. And then they're coming off, off the lower and upper level up there now. No, don't take. Well, we have to get our fruit eaten and checked yeah. when we get there. boarding the ship and doing hill starts on the ramp up. But it doesn't mean that there's not a the There's all the pet 
goats, the dogs. This is uh, all the caravans. Vehicle decks on board are labelled one to six. Please note which deck you've parked your car on so you can find it easily when vehicle decks are called on arrival. This announcement is a request to all vehicle drivers and motorcycle riders. Please ensure your motion sensor alarms are disabled as the smallest C motion can set off your alarm sensor. It's a bit like that. No, it works. Norwegian? Yeah, that's right. right. We've got to go to the back to where the restaurants are. We go to seven. Just getting our first gin and tonic. So we're on our way. We watched the safety movie. And there's the boat we jump into if we we're told to abandon ship. That'll take 150 passengers and we slide down the slippery dip. And then we slide straight down into the um, boat. But it won't sink the lady said. We're on our way to Devonport. No worries. We we're told there will be a lunar eclipse tonight, so we'll have to watch out for it. Oh uh, well, we're offshore. It's quarter to seven. This is the top deck, tenth, tenth deck, and we're going into the Devonport. Harbour. We, we were awoken at six by Mary's alarm. Okay, went through the biosecurity and went up the top of the hill. Some sort of tomato or strawberries or grapevine farm there. Well, they still don't know what it is. Sheep and alpacas. After wandering around Coles in Devonport, we're up Mersey Bluff. And around the right is the caravan park we stayed in. Last time we drove down.
There's a few heading out. That's the third or fourth one. Well, here we are. Holiday mode. Big four. Big four with a railway line somewhere. All the new age people and caravans everywhere around us. I've never seen a new A van boxed in before. Probably cheaper than a house anyway. Cord shot. I'm just following along the tourist drive, following the, the rail, railway line from Alverston to Burnie. Well, to Penguin. Yeah, the Penguin just up the road. And there's various private driveways you can get down across and you know, live beside the, this nice little coastline near Three Sisters. Snapping a shot of it as we drove through Penguin. few morning photos here. Quite a few permanents living on the edge of the, the wave platform here. They built up a lot of rocks and boulders to protect the caravan park. Must have cost a little tidy sum. That's Penguin down there. That's the little beach where the little miniature railway is. There's Penguin. You might see the church that lines up north south. I think the church is in behind the trees. You'll have to look at the photos. There's one from last time we came through in 2005.
going on seven o'clock and making a cup of tea. Just getting a location shot. It's three sisters and Goat Island, but we don't know which is which. Wasn't Moriarty part of the Goon Show? Yeah. And um, Sherlock Holmes is. Oh, that's right, and Sherlock Holmes character. Well, there's the smoke from the Hyena bushfires and down the, the air walk, Tahoon air walk. Got smoke from all over the place. And here's our first poppy field. They're all ready to. Maybe the harvest, probably machine harvest them, like uh, wheat. Oh, the sunshine came out for a moment. Hmm? There's a bit of sunshine for a moment. Yeah. This is Gravelly Beach where Liz Brown did a free camp. A while ago. We still have the smell of the smoke. Gravelly Beach Bakery we found. Over here, so we're going to have lunch. Followed all the lovely beachside homes and shacks, Gardener's Road out to the West Head Coastal Track. That's out to Badger's Beach, Badger's Lookout. That's where there's a, a stranded um, killer whale at the moment, or oh, it was, it's deceased. Uh, a tiger snake crossed the, the track down there and there's the sounds of summer. I don't know where the killer whale got beached. I don't know, but that must be um, Badger's Head over there probably. Yeah. Oh, lovely snorkeling. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So past that next headland, that's Badger's Head. Badger's Beach is past that. Around the corner. Around the corner. Oh, There's a, up. a cicada up there. Yeah, is it crawling up? Is that the one? No, oh, it's stationary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Might moving. be moving. Is it? Mm -hmm. yeah, he's moving, going backwards. He's walking backwards down the branch. And we just saw back up there, two metres off the track, the oiled up tiger snake. We 
found this little place on the in the Offbeat Australia book. In the world. So we're gonna have lunch here. Down beside the lake even. Turning around. It's one of the trolls mentioned in the offbeat. All we need is some snow. It was opened by him. Robin Gray. Wow. Well, we had our lovely ice cream. We probably won't get a, a second half. We're gonna. That's a nice little chocolate cafe where we had our ice cream. And across the road is a, a retirement village all the way along the, the road as we, we drove in. And they come across here for their milk and coffee and have a little game of putt-putt golf. And we're just going downhill past Grindelwald down the valley now. southeast and east into the Tamar Valley again. This is a bit of video for people who have dogs and can't get in here. 32, $12, $24 for us. Camera bags in here. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah. Well, that's where they're going for a swim. Yeah. All the babies. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. What this? Yeah. Well, we didn't, we didn't have a ride last time. Yeah. Almost certain. This is very rough and nice. This is for retirees.
bring the ace mob here and have a little snorkel and swim and walk up. There goes the the walk down over there on the cliffs. And we walk down there. Two thousand five, I think we have photos of it. There's a yoga mat down there, you see. Mm. And there's a peacock up mm. here. Somewhere, there he is. Just, just, he's doing a display. I need more information. Straight ahead underneath my side. Oh, yes. Way up. I think he does displays for the tourists. Probably. I'd say he's doing a display for a lady. Unusual. I'm going to have a cup of tea. There's a team bonding session down there. People all dressed up in the suits with their mats. Say, hello, peacock. Here he comes. Yep. It's a bit scruffy. What sort of peacock are you? You're a very strange looking peacock. They're both two of them displaying. Mm. Yeah. One in the tree. Oh, he must have been displaying his feathers for her. Back we go over, over the bridal path. Over the top of them. Oh. In Cave's house, it's an old vintage. Mm. You see? <laughs> Here's the local market garden.